Welcome back to the Explanation Pro. Today we are going to recap a 2012 German language historical drama film named Lore directed by Kate Shortland. Without wasting time let's begin. In the opening scene, we see a German soldier, returning to his home at the near end of the Second World War which upsets his wife living with his kids in southern Germany. He is asking his family to pack up important things quickly in a truck as they have to leave the place the next morning. We see Lore, his eldest daughter rushing toward her father and hugging her. The family consists of parents, Lore, her twin brothers named Gunther and Jürgen, her sister Liesel and a baby brother named Peter. Meanwhile, Lore's mother is packing important items like dishes, forks, and pieces of jewelry along with a porcelain deer model to take with them. The father is burning all the documents which prove that he is a Nazi officer and even puts a bullet in his dog to kill him. This is because they don't want to get caught by the Allied soldiers. The next day the family is leaving their stately home and began shifting to a new place to hide. It was a cabin in the woods of Black Forest. There are some tensions seen between the parents of Lore. When the siblings are running in the forest, they see burned pictures of their father along with other Nazi officers in army uniform. In the night Lore's mother is informing Lore that their leader Adolf Hitler is dead and her father has already left for an unknown destination. This saddens Lore but the kids are unaware that their father is gone. The next morning Lore is going to her neighbor to buy some food. While returning she saw some soldiers in a vehicle. Seeing this she came running to her mother. Lore's mother is explaining to her that she will be arrested too so she decides to be taken to camp voluntarily. She is telling them that if she didn't return in three days then Lore should buy tickets to Hamburg and go to Grandmother Omi's home which is her maternal place in Husum. She gave Lore all the money and jewelry so that she could reach the destination along with the responsibility of a baby child, twin brothers, and a sister and feed them through the journey. The next day when the children are asking Lore where their mother is, she replies that she is with their father and they are planning their new home and what paint would be used for it. The next day she was going to the neighbors to buy food. But they refused to open the door. In the cabin, Lore's brother Gunter was caught stealing something from the neighbors. They told them that they are unwanted and humiliated them. Lore was asked to leave the place. Lore told Gunter that if he would steal again the Americans will take them to prison made for torturing kids. Then she told all of them that their parent was at Omi's home and they should go there. This way she started following her mother's instructions. All of them started their journey to the station. When Lore asks the man in the cart to take them to the station, they said that there are no trains since the Americans took them. So they are continuing on foot and leaving all their belongings in the cabin except for the jewelry and other important things. They put the baby in a small carriage which they are pulling. On their way, they see an empty abandoned home where they entered. A dead woman was laying there with blood all over her thigh. When Lore was entering the room a young man was sleeping there. She went out of the home. She sees a lady there and bought eggs using her gold jewelry. When survival is at risk, gold means nothing compared to food. The next day she is going to a public place where she asks a lady to breastfeed her brother. Initially, she refused. But then Lore offered a piece of jewelry in return for breastfeeding his brother. The lady agreed. Then all of the siblings have cleaned themselves in the public place. On the walls, Lore saw pictures of thousands of people that were killed by Nazis. News and photos of the killings in the Nazi concentration camp were all over. While looking at those pictures she saw her father in a Nazi officer uniform. The young man in the abandoned house was seen again there. They are spending the night in school. When she came out she saw a place where a man was taking sexual advantage of women. As she walked through that place, the young man from before crushed her to the wall and began taking sexual advantage of her. But she moved his side and walked away. The next day they walked away from the schoolhouse. Lore saw the same young men coming towards them and following them through her journey. On their way, they enter a farm with a home where a lady was living. She gave them water. She looked at the baby brother and saw him with bed bugs in his body. Lore exchanged two pieces of jewelry, a gold bracelet, and her mother's gold ring for paraffin and food with the lady. In one of the rooms on the farm of that place, Lore saw a dead man with bullets shot by him in his eyeballs. She took the watch from his dead body. The lady in the house made the twin boys sing some Nazi songs and were impressed with them. She told Lore that Hitler loved them and that the Americans were full of lies and that their photos of dead people were all actors. The old lady is begging Lore to leave her baby brother behind with her. This is because other people will provide them with food of sympathy for the baby. Lore refuses and immediately left that place. On the way, they stopped below a tree. 
Laura was singing to her baby brother when she saw the same young man who tried to take sexual advantage of her. He was following them all along the journey. On the way, Laura stopped by an army truck. It is a truck full of American soldiers. The army men asked them for papers but Laura didn't have any. They asked about her parents and Laura was in deep trouble. Suddenly the young man following them comes for showing the army men his papers claiming to be their brother named Thomas. It is a Jewish identification paper. The army asked a few questions and Thomas gave made-up answers accurately. Then they gave them a lift. They slept in the woods. Lore becomes unconscious in the morning as she is sick. Thomas carried her in his arms to a nearby place where she woke up to see Thomas with food. All of them ate. At night Lore came to Thomas and told him to not touch their brother since he is a Jew and she saw it in her papers. Thomas started smoking and touched her legs. The next day when they were bathing in the pond, Laura's sister asked why she didn't like Thomas. She replied that Thomas gets food because of Peter and that's why he is sticking with them and then calls him a parasite. Laura's sister tells that she likes him as he is taking care of them. Even the twin brothers are having fun bathing him. In the night Thomas touched Laura's leg and ran his hands through her hair. The next day Laura came to Thomas asking him what he wants. She took his hand, put it under her clothes, and fondles him. When he is laying his head against her legs, she pushed him and is going away. The next day they walked through the forest. Lore took her father's picture at the concentration camp and is burying them in mud. They are continuing their journey where they had to cross a river. But the problem was that the bridge was broken. Thomas is proposing an idea that if they can cross the river by swimming, he can help by taking Peter across with him. Lore refused by saying he will take Peter and leave them once he crosses the river. Laura is going down leaving everyone in the upper land to find a way to cross the river. She saw a boatman there with a rowboat. She asked him to help them cross. But he was not interested to help them. Then she gave him the watch and the porcelain deer model. But the boatman laughed and refused to take it since they were of no value. She sees Thomas coming from the road behind. Then she let the boatman take sexual advantage of her when Thomas came from the back and hit him with a stone. They took the boat and rowed to the other side. Lore was completely moved away after this incident. She felt guilty. In the heat of guilt, she tried to drown herself with the baby Peter. But Thomas jumped in the water and took them out. He is taking Peter from Lore's arm out of the river. On the way, Thomas sees an army blockade where he showed his papers. The policemen are telling him that they are guarding the British sector. They are not allowed to cross to the other British side from the Soviet sector. He told them that the trains are running but they won't let them through. Laura is asking Thomas whether he said the policemen what they did and started going toward them. Thomas pulled her in time and tells her to go with him. Since there will be fewer chances of getting caught that is why they decide to walk at night. In the woods, while they were resting by pitching camp. A smell was coming from the woods which caught Thomas's attention. Someone was cooking there. He asked everyone to keep quiet and lay down. He went towards the smell. They heard the sound of a man approaching them. Gunter misunderstood and ran towards him thinking it was Thomas. But the man is a Soviet soldier. Suddenly they hear gunshots and Gunter is shot dead. Thomas tells everyone to run away with a bag of food that he stole. Laura and their siblings cried for their brother but the soldiers were coming toward them. Thomas is threatening them to leave if they do not run away. They are running to a safer place. Laura and his brother started sobbing at the death of his brother. Laura is saying Thomas that it was his fault but Thomas is shouting at her telling them that he told them to keep quiet and stay low. They kept walking and stopped at a place. They are arguing and Thomas decided that he is going to leave them there since the station was near and Laura had a baby so they would let him enter. But Laura begged her to stay with them. She even agreed to give him Peter if he would stay. Thomas refused repeatedly but she kept asking him to stay. She is so afraid to be left alone that she became frustrated. She is removing her anger by calling Thomas a filthy Jew. Seeing her condition, Thomas decided to go to the station with them. At the station, a group of soldiers is walking through the train asking people for their identification papers. Thomas realized his wallet was missing. He left Lore and others there and came out of the train to avoid getting caught. They moved out of the train after reaching their destination. During the final moments of their journey, they were crossing the muddy tidal plains of the western coast of the Jutland Peninsula when Lore's brother Jürgen took out the Jewish papers Thomas had. Handing it over to Lore he said that he thought it would help Thomas stay and confessed he was the one who took those. Lore is looking at the photo when she finds that the young man was not Thomas and that it was stolen. 
the young man was impersonation himself as Thomas Wiles all along by stealing those papers from some Jewish man. He knew that the Allied will help him if he use a Jewish paper. At the end of the movie, the four siblings finally reach Omi's home. The woman in the house feeds them and keeps them in the home. They ask Lore and their siblings to never be ashamed of their parents. When she asks about Gunther, they told her that he died in the Soviet sector. Lore went to her mother's bed and kept the porcelain deer model in a place having a collection of such tiny figures. Lore didn't dance with Lysel, her sister, in the kitchen to an American song. She couldn't adjust herself there. She walked to the woods and began to see papers of Thomas. At the dining table, Jürgen took a piece of bread impulsively. But Omi was furious with him and scolded him for not waiting. This angered Lore and she followed her brother in doing so. She dropped the milk on the table and drank it with the palm of her hand. Omi went away from the table. Lore went to her room, took all the porcelain figures, and crushed them and the movie ends here. This movie is an example of the other side of the world war, the story of the sufferings of German people. Lore and her family were among the millions of people who were badly affected by this political turmoil during the great world wars. Hope you like the video. And if you want to watch extra such amazing recaps, then do subscribe to our channel. Goodbye and take care.